Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Dyn video blog done in conjunction with ICANN Wiki and Circle ID. And today I'm here with Rob Cotton. Did I get that right? You did, Rob Cotton. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and Rob, you're the CEO of NCC, right? Can you tell me a little bit about NCC? Yeah, for sure. I'd be delighted. NCC Group, we are relatively new in the ICANN world, but we're our background as a security organization and an escrow provider. And now in, in ICANN, we've become, I think, a credible player in data escrow. We also do domain abuse. And of course, we've got our own GTLD and the service we're offering through Dot Trust. That's great. Now, you guys were previously on Secure, but now you've got Dot Trust. Um, so tell me what's happening with the, like, what are you offering people through Dot Trust? Yeah, Dot Trust is actually creating a, a nice gated community. It, it, it allows brands to operate in a very safe way for their consumers, their customers, because what we've done is we've set a very high bar of security standards, which are public, publicly available, and the security standards try to create the best-in-class standards that are achievable. It's put them all together in, in, in one document, uh, and the dot trust environment is constantly monitoring against those security procedures, so actually the site knows exactly what's happening at all times. So can you give me an example of how a brand would would use a dot trust name, or do they even need to actually be on a dot trust name in order to use your service? Uh, well, they don't need to be um, in dot trust to use some of our services because the back end processes we can provide to some of the brands who have applied for their own their own GTLD. But what we see happening is large organizations actually want to get security over the way that data is transmitted to and from the customer. And so therefore, rather than completely lose the whole brand identity of a dot com or whatever they may have, that part of the, the web estate becomes dot trust. So the payment page or where you hand over your personal data will be in dot trust. Equally, what that gives you is a complete assurance that when you use dot trust as a communication method for mail, there is no one else it can be. It's as simple as that. That brand dot trust means it will be that brand categoric. Got it. So, for example, if I'm on Nike.com and I'm buying a pair of sneakers, um, when I go through the checkout process, it might switch to Nike.trust and then maybe back to .com when I'm done with the process. Is that how you envision it working? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got to remember that you know 95% of a website is brochureware. So, in fact, we've got some pretty good security over that in terms of being able to keep it safe. But once we start passing data around, that 5%. That's where it should live in a dot trust domain. It should actually be done against the high bar of security policies, the best practices, to make sure that consumer information is, is protected. Got it. Is this targeted at larger companies like Fortune 500 or Global 2000, uh, or is it good for any size company? Yeah, of course, it does work best for the big companies. They've got the security team, so traditionally they've actually gone a long way on the security journey. But part of NCC's group, at NCC Group's philosophy is we want to make the internet a safer place. So we publish the policies that are available to everybody and with large organizations, with smaller organizations, not just large organizations, we're trying to help them actually adopt those. It okay. will just take longer in a smaller organization and it will be more expensive for them as typically they won't be at that high. Right. Maybe SSL is enough for a smaller organization? At, uh, well, we always recommend as security professionals that you don't tend to rely on anything. So. Uh, Okay. Uh, we, we, we suggest you start from best practice and you actually put in as many guides, checks and balances to make security the main way that you actually run your website. Do you uh, alert the companies? You have regular reporting that shows the different types of possible security breaches and, and how does that work? Yeah, I, we've actually got a very sophisticated uh, user interface which actually flags up at all times adherence to the security policies. It gives alerts. The really clever bit we've done is not only does it use multiple scans, multiple scanners, it actually, we've removed all the false positives, which is one of the biggest problems in security. So actually, when you're using that interface, you as the security professional or the risk manager know for, know for absolute certainty you're dealing with real problems. Again, we classify them through different phases, so that actually ones to really panic about, ones to wake the CEO up, or ones which actually you've got a bit of time to correct known issues. Got it. What does it cost to get into a, um, a dot trust solution? Um, to actually join dot trust and if you go 
the full way through, then traditionally it will, will typically cost you around about one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year. But for that, you're getting full scanning, manual interventions, pen testing, helping you go quite a long way down the route of compliance with PCI and different security standards. So it's an all-encompassing uh, solution rather than just looking at it as buying a, a domain. Got it. Very interesting. Now, just to maybe wrap it up, I know that you also have um, an escrow service for registry operators as well as uh, the domain abuse monitoring. Do these products, um, are they completely separate or do they work together in some way? No, our, our solution when we came into this market was to look at what was being done and, and help improve it and give more choice. So when we looked at the issues of domain abuse and we looked at escrow, one of the things we quickly concluded is we can put the two together. Not only can we offer a really strong domain abuse product that will meet all ICANN regulations, uh, but we can also just take that one deposit and do it when we do data escrow. So it makes life easier. There's one invoice. You deal with one organization. There's just one download. It's as simple and straightforward as that. As what we've tried to do is just move the service available forward. Excellent. Yeah, that was a great explanation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.